don't need a 4x4 to do the Kruger trip, but you absolutely do need a car that has air conditioning. Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. My number one tip is to come with all the awesome friends that you know, because they make it much better. <laughs> Number one tip for coming to the Kruger Park is do not come during South African school holidays. It's just overcrowded. You've got to make some decisions around what you want. You want to see a lot of game and a lot of diversity in terms of what you see in the bush. Probably gonna your best bet is to stick to the south. But that comes with a lot of camps in close proximity, which means you're gonna see more people. We just saw like seven, I think, seven lions. lions eating a carcass. We have now seen four out of the big five. If you wanna get more of a close to nature feel, the north is definitely the way to go. You won't, in my view, see as much quality game, but you will get that feeling of being out in the open. Next tip, just bring a huge amount of mosquito spray. You don't want to get malaria. When you book camps, put a lot of careful planning into that because you've got to look at the map, look at what you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So for example, if you pick one campsite for four or five days, you've got to make sure that you've got enough drivable routes that it doesn't get boring. Try and get yourself out the gate as soon as the gate opens. You give yourself the best opportunity possible to see animals walking about. Put sunscreen on first thing when you wake up and continue reapplying every 15 minutes, especially if you're like me and you look like a ghost. <laughs> Never underestimate how cold it's going to be in the morning. So even if you're here in December, bring a jacket. And then, Nellie, you said also bring rain gear because it could also always rain. For the ladies, definitely bring dry shampoo. It will save your life. It's kind of hard to wash your hair, so bring dry shampoo. They'll and thank me wipes. later. And wet wipes. Also wet wipes. <laughs> you need a, some method of keeping your drinks cold. The best is a battery system with a fridge. Or you can have your cooler box and fill up with ice at the camps. Camping in the Kruger. Rooftop tent or ground tent. Ground tents are ideal in my view because if you're camping and you set your ground tent up, when you want to leave in the morning, you give yourself 15 minutes to get up, brush teeth, get, make your coffee. It's much easier to leave when the gate opens, but it is a lot more of a mission to set up and pack away. Rooftop tents are just awesome. They're just nicer in every single way to sleep in and they're just cool. But you do sacrifice a bit of time in the mornings because of the quest that it has to, you have to go through in order to pack it away. And I've got both. I've done it in the ground tent and the rooftop tent. And I probably prefer the ground tent, personally. You can move from camp to camp to camp. Rooftop tent is better if you're staying for short stints. Whereas like if you're one night, one night, two nights, two nights, time, yeah. rooftop tent always going to win. Ground tent, any from two onwards makes a lot more sense. The animals are wild, they are dangerous. It is not a zoo. When you're on game drives, range anxiety is a real thing. Fill your vehicle at every opportunity. Take every opportunity to use the facilities. Please do not break any of the park rules and litter, especially don't feed the animals and please be on time for the gates. Uh, just respect the rules.